Hello, sisters and brothers. My name is Ricardo, and I come before y'all this evening to give y'all a message. You know, before I dive into the message, um, I just want to share something about myself. Before I became a Christian, before I became a believer in Christ, um, I was a person who would always know things. You know, I just all from a kid growing up, I would just know things. Sometimes I don't want to know the things that I'm knowing. Because when I know something, that means I have to protect myself and separate from, from that person. And sometimes living in the world, you really don't believe there's anything else but the world. You understand? And I would always, um, when I know something, I would always have to cut that person off. And you know, when you build a connection with someone, you want to keep that, especially if it's romantic or something, you know, intimate. So um, I've always known things and I don't know how, how I just know things, you know, and as a child growing up as a kid, I would see things that I don't understand why I'm seeing these things as a child, you know? So let me just share the message. So on January, I made some notes. So on January, January 20th, um, I had a dream where I was in a building with a lot of people. You know, like this huge building with really big glass, window glass, um, glasses. And um, there was this great storm. You know, there was this great storm and everybody fell to their knees and start praying. And then I got angry, really angry at, at everyone in the dream. You know, like I said, I told y'all to pray. I was really, really angry and I didn't understand why that was. So when I got up from the dream, the dream ended. And when I got up and I looked through my window, it was actually raining that morning when I got up. It kind of freaked me out a little bit. I remember I was just a new person in Christ um, and I was dealing with a whole lot of things in the moment. So I kind of pushed the dream away, even though I know it was something I needed to say about the dream. I actually sent, I actually messaged some of my friends to tell them about the dream. And I said, I feel like God is really coming soon. You know, I didn't make it public to anyone. And what's the point of just sharing with two, three persons that that you're comfortable with. That's not the purpose of why God may give that to you, you know? So that ended months later, months later passed. And um, in, in, in May, on May 30th, um, I prayed to God because I really needed some answers. You know, I really wanted some answers about a whole lot of things in my life, you know? And that on, on, on May 30th, I was laying down listen to, listening to a sermon. It wasn't, I wasn't asleep. I wasn't fast asleep. I was not. I was half asleep listening because I'm listening at the same time. And I lay down, I, li I lie down and I was there and I just felt something came over me and I couldn't move, but it was, it was not like a bad thing or a bad energy. I was just so calm and relaxed and I wasn't moving, you know, and that thing said to me, whatever it was, I, I really can't tell. I'm not going to say it's an angel. I'm, I don't know what it was. You know, but something came over me and they were like knocking on my forehead a little bit. Not, it was so gentle. And they, they said to me, Jesus is not coming now, but he's coming really, really soon. And I remembered, I remember when, the, when before, when, when, when they said that, they said, fulfill the prophecy. There's so many things I need to share about my testimony and things that led me to Christ. But because of my pride and because... Before I was a person in the world and a lot of people know me and it's just hard. It was, it's a, it was a bit hard for me to go from this popular person to start giving prophet words and talking about Christ. But I love, love Jesus and I will die for him. There's nothing I wouldn't do for him. You know, it took me some time, time to get to this point, but let me not stray from it. When I woke up from, when, not, not woke up, when, when, when they said fulfill the prophecy, all I could wonder in that moment was, what was that? I wasn't asleep because I wasn't asleep. It's not like I woke up from it. It wasn't like any other dream. It wasn't like the dream I had um, in January. That was a dream. I know that was a dream. This felt more real, realistic, like it was a dream, not a dream. You understand? So um, I still did not take heed to whatever that was, you know, that when I got that and they say fulfill the, the prophecy, what I did then was on that very same day, I went out and when I was on the train, I just said to a few people, God is coming soon. God is coming soon. And I felt that I felt like that was just not enough. 
You know, it's like I'm doing it, but I'm putting one foot in and the rest of my body out. So I'm not really doing what God has asked me to do. And then so this morning and um, today's today is the, on, the, on June 4th. The dream came back to me again. The dream came back to me again a week later and I was laying there and it was like heavy rain, heavy, 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 heavy rain. And when I, when I looked up, it was like the sky was bursting in. You could see the universe closer than you could see stars. You can see stuff. You could have seen a lot of things, you know? And in that moment, I was like, wow, this was really real. The dream that I had was really real. And I felt like I had not done my part. And then I felt like I was going to be punished for that. You know, that's how I felt in that moment. And when I actually woke up this morning and opened my windows, here this really gray, gray sky. It was really gray and there's just lightning and rain falling very hard to the point when I'm to the point I'm saying, wow, this, what's going on? And I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to take this on my, I'm not going to let this be, I'm not going to let this bother me too much in sense of not saying it. I'm going to forget about pride and everything and come here and say it. I don't care who want to think I'm a prophet, not a prophet or whatever it is. I had to get this message out so I can release the burden that is on my shoulder, you know? So I just wanted to share that message with y'all into the world. God said he's coming soon. Jesus said he's coming soon. And I can't tell when that is. I, I, I have Nobody knows that, but it was a message that was given to me. And I'm here to share it. Listen, this is not made up. I have no reason to come on the internet to make up a story or to do something like this, you know? So I just want to tell you all, I hope somebody will take heed to this. And for me, what I got from this was, so the part where he said, um, he's not coming now, but soon. I think that was confirmation to me and for a lot of people who may be in a predicament that they're in. Like for instance, my situation, I'm trying to detransition and I, I'm a strong believer. I'm righteous with God. But this takes a toll on me, not knowing when he's coming and if I would get left behind, you know, because I'm in a situation where it's a process to do that, you know, so it, it's preventing me from having the confidence I want to have with, within Christ. So this message may be for a lot of people who are feeling like that, you know, whatever predicament that you, you're faced with right now, which is which you have no control over. God wants you to understand. Jesus wants you to know. God wants you to know that he understands and he's with you. Do not let the enemy come in your ears to tell you that you're not in right standing with God and you should just forget about it because if he comes tomorrow, you're not sure where you're going to go. So you're going to just waste your time trying to live good knowing that you're not sure where you're going to go. God knows that you're in that predicament and he wants you to move in order for him to help you to get out of that predicament. So don't just sit in it and don't move. Don't, don't, don't do that. You have to move and pray about it and ask him to help you to get out of that situation, you know? And I am in no way telling anyone that God said it's okay for you to go and mess up and be lukewarm or do anything you want to do because God understands and you're working on it. No, that's your choice. And that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying for people who are in predicament under their control, you know, like circumstances is beyond their control. God understands. So that takes a lot of toll on people. So this message might be for someone who is in that situation. God wants you to know that he sees you and understand, but don't lose faith and don't let the enemy tries to tell you crap, you know, because that's all he does. Crap tells you crap in your ears. So just let those out and continue on your journey. Continue to to, to, to be, be strong in your faith. And um, yeah, and for the flood, you know, for the flood, in, in both dreams, I was very, we were panicking in the moment, you know. So for that part of the dream is, I don't think you should wait until the last minute to get right with Christ. You need to get right with Christ now because when the time comes and you start panicking, you're going to, it's going to be too late and there's nothing you can do in that moment. So to save yourself from that, just get it out of the way, get it done right now, you know? So don't wait forever and don't think you have time because we like to say we're going to serve God because we know God is real. Everybody knows this, whether we are a believer, non-believer, whatever we are, we know there's somebody that is higher than us who created us. 
you know? So a lot of us think that being a good person is in good standing with God and he will give you a chance. No, 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 that doesn't work. That was me before I thought like that for a very long time. And my experience and my encounter with God made me understand that that's not it. Understood that this, that's not it. If you're not holy and righteous and living by the commandment that he gave, you're wasting your precious time. So might as well you just live for the world and not waste your time. You gotta be all the way in. That's what God is looking for. He's not looking for your lukewarm thing. He's gonna spit you out. The, the scripture said it. You understand? So I hope this message may be of help to someone. And um, that's, that's what I have to share with y'all. So get moving so God can get you out of that predicament that you're faced with. Don't just sit in it and expect him to just deliver and get you out of it when you're not making any effort. So God wants somebody to know that. And that includes me, so I'm happy. It makes me feel relaxed. And remember now, I never tell you that you have a whole lot of time because God says he's not coming now. Don't take me out of context. You know, so he says, not now, but he's coming soon. I don't know what that means. You you and I know we don't know how God operates and how he speaks. We, we don't understand that. So that's it for today. And I just want to thank you all for for tuning in and I hope God will be a blessing to y'all and pour out his Holy Spirit upon you and give you peace, comfort, and joy. Stay strong in your faith, my brothers and sisters, and may God bless y'all. Have a good weekend. Okay, there's something else I want to tell you. You know, two days ago, I dream that the like, I dream that it was flooding, you know? And I was very upset with everybody because I tell them to pray and they didn't listen. You know, it was a big flood, you know, it feel like something bad was happening. You know, and I think, I don't remember all the dream, but I just want to tell you, it's kind of scary to me that I dream like that because it feel real.